This holiday season, please remember our local businesses. Mom and pop businesses to medium sized local businesses are so vital to our economy. The profits and the money that you spend there employ local people. It goes back uh, to the local owners and so many times they have great services, they have wonderful products they have to offer and they're located here. They, they work here, they live here, they're part of our community. My name is Donna LeBron. I'm the owner of City Seed of the Station here on North Murray. We did take um, part of the City Seed Old Store, which is off of Triple. We took part of that concept, the seeds, plant supply, modernized it a little bit so that we could have a little bit more seasonality in different areas. Um, so right now we focus on potted gardens, house plants. We will talk you through how to, where to put it, how to water it, how often to water it. And so we hope that we've really instilled a little bit more luck in those that buy the plants. And of course, house plants are year-round. Whenever you purchase something here in the store, I mean, we do have four employees, and we all work and live in the same area, and we spend money in the same area. So that's what I love about it is the customer service does, I feel like, make us a little bit more unique than the big box. And you know, when you want something specific that we don't have, we try to get it for you. And we will personally give you a call to say, your item is in or we can't find that item. I guess it's just nice to know that you're helping a family with their income and just that small business nostalgia like you know we're good friends we try to all work together with neighboring um, downtown businesses we try not to carry the other things that downtown businesses do like stay in our own little lane but we do hope that when they walk in they a feel completely welcome and they love the space and that they just feel at home and they get a little bit more comfortable with plants. Well, my name is Gay McCluskey, owner of the Kitchen Emporium and Gifts. The business has been in existence since 2000, moved to downtown in 2002. We're not only your friends and neighbors and um, church members, we enjoy donating, uh, especially to our local charities. That's um, something my husband and I are very passionate about. It's our local charities. Um, for instance, when the National say a uh, Special Olympics call, we donate to our area, Area 14. So we keep it local and we put our money where our mouth is. We shop local as well. We are actually here and know the products that we offer, know how they work, and I am the deciding factor on what I bring in. Uh, so I, I look for the good quality and the unusual and, and sometimes hard to find things that you wouldn't find any other place. And I don't want to be the same as, I call them the box stores, so you can find unique gifts. We always have samples out. We're the originator of the sip and shop. We've always provided wine, or if you want to have a glass of wine or a beer while you're shopping, that is that is so typical and so normal here. And we're the ones who like to take you around and show you if you would like that service. Some people like, just let me look but we don't want you to think that we're forgetting about you. So we'll come back and I'll even say, I'll let you look and then we'll come back together and we will create something, a, a good gift or, or something. And I get to know that person that they're looking for, you know, their needs, their wants and their hobbies, what they like to do. Come see us. I think shop local is a mindset. And if you think about it, just come downtown or anywhere that has a local business, a mom and pop place, we're very friendly, we're very giving, and we just want you to all love our downtown. My name is Melissa and I own Indigo Custom Framing and Artisan Market. We're primarily a custom frame shop, but we do feature a lot of local artisans and artists and a lot of fun, unique gifts. Um, we also offer workshops. We've turned our downstairs space into the Santa's workshop so you can come in and make a little ornament and get ready for the holidays. This is probably the most important time of the year for us just for a place to find fun gifts for your family members. Everybody needs something framed last minute for, for the holidays. And the reality is, is you can get anything you really need online anywhere but people are missing the experience and getting to be able to experience community 
and so when you come especially here we wanted to give you an experience so we're not trying to stress you out when you're trying to shop you can come grab a hot cider grab a cookie write a letter to Santa go make something with your friends get to experience the holidays and slow down and remind yourself why you're here what this season's all about um, instead of trying to stress out try to find everything that you need we're 305 North Main Street, right downtown. Can't miss us, we got a big giant window. We will be open um, seven days a week, Monday through Thursday, 9.30 to 5.30. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, we'll be open till 7.30. And then Sundays, 1 to 5.30. All right, guys, I'm, I'm Chris DeVito, and I own the guitar shop here in Anderson. We are located at 110 Miracle Mile Drive. We're an authorized vendor dealer. We just acquired Paul Reed Smith guitars. We do Takamini, Gretsch, a lot of brands, a lot of amplifiers. This is part of the store here. You're seeing a lot of the guitars up here. And uh, we keep a huge selection of strings and stock, so we've got everything that anybody could ever want is generally in stock. If you play an instrument, you want to feel the instrument. You want to know what you're buying. It's not just a thing of, hey, I'm going to get that online and just pick that out and have it shipped to me. First of all, if you buy a guitar, from a major company or warehouse, basically you're buying a guitar that basically sat on the dock, <laughs> went to a warehouse, sat in their warehouse for months, who knows what the climate control is going to be. Um, and when you get the guitar, sometimes people complain they get guitars in the action, though the string height is like, you know, like you could drive a little matchbox car underneath them. Well, here, every guitar comes in, goes back to the shop where Dom does all his repair work, and he'll set up each guitar individually one at a time. Each guitar gets about a $50 setup, or if you took it somewhere to Greenville, it would cost you $100 to get that setup. So when you come in to play the guitars here, they're already set up, they're ready to go, they're ready to be played. And most people come in, they're like, wow, these guitars feel like the best guitars I've ever felt in my life. It's because we take our time and we don't have the overhead like some of these big companies do. So we're able to do that. And by supporting your local shop, you're keeping us here and you're keeping a place where you can try out new inventory and new things. We do lessons. We've got lessons coming in and out all the time every day of the week that we're here. Uh, we have a full repair center. So all that's here and you don't have to travel anywhere to go get it because it's right here in Anderson. From here till the end of the year, we're 10 to 6, Monday through Saturday, but we're going to open up for four hours each Sunday uh, through the holidays. I feel like uh, it's my job to, to try and shop local. And I'd encourage everyone else to get out and shop local and have a wonderful holiday.